Hey, what's up, guys? Filterless here. Today, I'm going to be covering a program called G Helper. Basically, this is a replacement and much more lightweight version of Armory Crate. It's not Armory Crate, it's a third party program, but it feels like Armory Crate and it feels like what Armory Crate should be. I have this installed on my Asus G15 as well as the ROG Ally and it works amazingly well to me. It is much better than Armory Crate and I do not plan on using Armory Crate at all. Now that I have this installed on either device or any Asus product going forward that I can use this on. So first I wanna quickly go over some of the settings here and just what you're seeing when you install the program down below. I will have a timestamp with a tutorial on how to install it. And so first you can see here we have the mode just like we have an armory crate where we've got our silent balanced and turbo but as you can see in silent mode we're running 13 watts which is different because an armory crate it's set at 10 well what's neat about this is you can set the watts to whatever you'd like in each mode and we'll get into this later in the video and then off to the right we've got our cpu temperature and fan rpm so it's not spinning right now fans are off since the temperature is low enough then down here, this is for laptops and isn't going to apply to the ROG since it is an iGPU. But if you have an Asus laptop, this is really cool that you can disable the dedicated GPU. However, to the right of that, we do have our GPU and 38 Celsius for the temperature, fan speeds. You can see our fans actually did kick on here. And then right here, this is essentially, if we bring up command center, you can see this 60 Hertz right here. This is basically what this is. The reason it's not showing is because I'm plugged into a dock, but you can tap 120 or 60 hertz to quickly change your display over. Down here, it's going to say laptop keyboard. This is just your RGB lighting around the joysticks, and so you can instantly change this, and this is a really fast way of doing it. It's actually a bit of a pain to go in Armory Crate and change any of this. Here, we can just click on that, go to the green color, whatever we want, and just immediately change it. It's so great to just be able to change it quickly like that. Next, this is really cool. So in my Asus, you can limit your battery. So if you haven't plugged in a lot or you want to extend your battery life, limiting it down below 100 can help. Although the battery life is already pretty short, so you might not want to do this. But if you do, you can actually adjust this one in 5% increments. And my Asus, you can only go, I think it's from 60 to 80 to 100. So as you can see, we just knocked it up to 90. It's going to take a minute for it to kick in and start charging. And there we go. Now we'll be able to see the rate that it's charging above the slider. So there we go. Just updated from three and a half to 21.2 watts, and it's going to charge it up to 90. Now there's a little bit of lag. I'm dragging it right now. It's not doing anything, but as soon as I let off, it will snap to that location. So something it might not look like it's working however if you drag it around you can just let off and it should snap to the location you set i have mine set to run at startup because this is all i use and i'm not going to use armory crate anymore so when the system starts it just starts up with the system so i can always have this running and use it and then next to the laptop keyboard or the lighting for rgb sticks you have extra it will bring up this menu from what i can tell the m1 m4 through M4 isn't going to matter. Neither is the FN or F4 or FN C lock. This is mainly on the laptop. So you can have it where when you press the volume key, instead of it being F5 or whatever it is, it will adjust your volume. However, on the ally, it's not going to matter too much. So right here we have our backlight brightness. This is where it goes from 3366 to basically 100%. So you can adjust that or turn it all the way off. And then if you don't like the lights, I think they blink in sleep mode. So there's some annoying things if you don't want them on when it boots up you can just sit here and uncheck all of these whatever you want i personally am just going to leave it on because if it is in sleep mode i usually like to make sure i shut it down and i've caught where the lights are blinking and then i just shut it down and down here i actually have a video on this display very bright this is something that when you're on battery the colors look really washed out this might be worth toggling off right here you don't even need to go into amd control panel and just see if you like the colors more when you're on battery this does not apply to when it's plugged in. And I have auto adjust windows power modes selected just to make sure this is controlling those power modes. So moving on to the star of the show, it's going to be our modes right here. So if we click on this fans and power profile, it's going to bring up the side window right here. And this is awesome. In each power mode, you can see there's the default fans. So you can even click factory defaults 
just to make sure you get those factory default settings. So if we change all these to the factory defaults, now you'll see over here on silent, it just says silent, balanced, just says balanced. It's running essentially what the system would run normally. And from my test, that does seem to be pretty accurate. The fan curves might be a little bit different, but let's go ahead and start with silent mode. So this is something that is really cool. Over on the left, we have CPU boost per option. So in silent mode, I have it disabled, but then in balance mode, it can be aggressive. And in turbo, you can also have an aggressive. You can change your boost in here quickly for all modes. And this changes it for battery as well as plugged in. So really awesome. The next thing is your power limits. So I like to set custom power limits. And this is probably one of the coolest features because in silent mode and armory crate, it's almost useless to try to use that option because it limits it to 10. However, in here, we can drag this to wherever we want. Now, this is for laptops, so it's going to say 150. So definitely not going to draw that. However, it does hold the wattage when you get down below 30. So the ally is only going to go to 30. However, we can set any watt increment we want in here from 5 all the way to 30. So for silent mode, I actually found 13 watts to be great. It's very power efficient, could still play games. And to make sure that's enabled, you can click apply power limits. You'll see over here it added that 13 watts. So now when I click silent mode, I can see 13 watts. This is the very temporary boost right here. I recommend setting this to the exact same so it just stays at 13. If you change the boost, that's actually what it pulls the data from up here. So now it's showing 30, even though it's going to end up staying around 13. So I would recommend just bumping both of these to the same level. And down here, we have apply custom fan curve. So you can check this and drag these sliders around to wherever you would want. I actually do not mind just having the defaults. They seem to be working pretty good in all of my tests, especially since I'm running lower power limits on all of these so if we go to balance you'll see the fan curve is slightly higher by default and for balance i have it set to 17 watts then for turbo i have it set to 25 watts across the board another really cool thing is the anchor dock i have with the rog ally charger as well as a steam deck charger now when i unplug it it memorizes what profile was on before so if i'm on balance while i'm plugged in when I unplug it, if I was on silent, it will go to silent. This is something Armory Crate still doesn't do for me with the latest update. And I've seen people buying 100 watt chargers. But the thing is, mine never drains. It's not so much it's not getting enough power. I don't know how Asus couldn't get this fixed, but this program, it works perfect. So the next thing I wanted to show y'all is going to be if we go into one of these balance profiles, you'll see I have CPU boost set to aggressive. However, if we come down here to these power options right here, you'll see in power settings, it's showing balanced in Windows. And what's so neat about this is if we bring up the monitor, you can see we are drawing five watts with CPU boost set to aggressive and now four watts. Now this is amazing and I'll show you why. If we use the balanced or performance mode in armory crate let's go ahead and get it where it activates you'll see right here now we're at 10 watts 9 watts and the reason for that is if we go back into windows power settings it's overriding the power mode and making it go to best performance even if we change this look it will actually fix it for a second so this is using asus we can just exit out of this just to show you so look at this we're getting good watts with CPU boost on, but if we just toggle back and forth again to performance, it overrides it every time, which is why I was recommending disabling CPU boost. However, when we're not using that and we have access to this awesome program, we don't have to worry about it anymore. So if we toggle back and forth, now you can see it's using its power mode, which I would assume when we came in here, auto adjust windows power modes it's auto adjusting that so now if we come in here and we go back down see how it says balanced and look at that watt usage perfect so now you can just leave cpu boost on this program handles it 
perfectly. It's using such a small amount of watts. That's great for everybody. All right, and so one of the more important things I wanted to show y'all is down here, when we click on extra over here, you'll see Asus service is running. It's in red and there's a stop button. And the reason for that is there's a lot of Asus services that are running in the background that can conflict with this or trying to change the same settings. So like our RGB lighting, Armory Crate is trying to change this as well as the modes up here, you have Armory Crate that's trying to run it, as well as G Helper and your charge limit. So my Asus is actually trying to run this charge limit and then also G Helper's running. And you might not run into any major issues. However, I definitely prefer to have the services disabled, but there's one really important thing to note. When you stop these services, you will see on the ROG, we have actually lost access to our command center button as well as the armory crate button. Now this will toggle G helper on and off, which is really cool. But for us, we really need access to the command center. There's just too many options in there that I think most people are going to want. So I'll show you how to fix that real quick. So to fix that, you're going to click on the start menu button. You're going to type in services right here in the search, and you'll see the services app. You can click on that to open it. And there's only one service that's responsible for the hotkeys that's this Asus optimization service. I learned that back in the day when messing around with laptops. And before we enable this optimization, I just wanted to show you all, you can see all these services that are disabled right here. So the software manager, system analysis, diagnosis, not that big of a deal. The update service, this is basically stopping my Asus from being able to run updates, which I'll show you here in a second. And then the link, link remote, all these, these are stuff you might not even want running anyway. However, it also disabled the Armory Crate control interface. So really G Helper is essentially taking over for the most part. I believe it also disables Armory Crate SE, the actual Armory Crate. However, when we hit that Armory Crate button, I think it starts it back up. So for Asus optimization, double click on it and it will bring up this window. For startup type, we can just change it to automatic click apply then you're going to click on start and it will sit here and start it up click ok and now take a look at this when we hit the command center button we have command center so in command center the brightness is still working our monitors we can still turn it on and off ris even the display you can see that's working refresh rate if you want to change it in here our led brightness you can change in here as well if you prefer as well as our volume and in task i really like having this option and so if we come in here to extra you will see that one service running that's that optimization service we enabled that i definitely recommend having enabled if you want the command center button and when you restart the great thing about this is those other services will still stay disabled and we'll just have the optimization service running and if you do press the armory crate button it is going to open armory crate most of the stuff in here including the power settings actually still work so operating mode can still be changed however if you're running g helper i recommend not changing the lighting the operating mode or anything else in here for the most part Obviously for the control mode, I tested that out and the back buttons are still working for me without an issue. However, I do wanna show you one thing it did affect if we open up the My Asus app you will see it's saying to please restart the system to ensure the functions work properly. You can restart as many times as you want because we disabled those services. You can see there's no updates in here. Basically, you're not gonna be getting updates in my Asus. However, you're also not gonna be getting those annoying pop-ups. Now, if you wanted to open my Asus and get it working again properly, what's really nice is you can click stop on these services and then you can just click start and this will start all nine of those Asus services again. So as you can see down here, Asus services running, we got all nine back. We can open up my Asus again and you'll see everything's back to normal. We can come in here, check for our updates and view everything in here. Keep in mind, if you want to re-disable these, you're going to have to go into that services thing again and enable that optimization service again to get that command center button to work. Now, the other thing is down here, we have the updates button and it is showing all these updates. So it looks like it's disabling my ACES for updates. However, it still has them in here and we can check for updates. Now, I can't verify if this is working properly or not because everything is up to date and I haven't seen 
any new updates come in. However, if this does work, then I will gladly take this as an alternative to using the MyAsus app. All right, so moving on to the tutorial section, it's pretty straightforward. I'll have this link down in the description, or you can always search G Helper on Google and you're looking for this GitHub link right here where it says G Helper, and you can click on that. Either way, once you click on this link, you're going to scroll down a little bit and you will see right here the G Helper, the version latest. You can see it was updated two days ago. This version might be slightly different when you're seeing this. So you're gonna click here and then you will scroll down and you will see right here, it shows download app. You can also scroll down further if for whatever reason that's not in there and you will see assets. You can download it right here as well. And down below that, if you wanna support the developer, I don't know them, this is not any type of sponsored thing, but the program's amazing. So if you wanna throw them some support, you just donate links down here. And so once you do download it, you're going to open the zip file. You're gonna see three items in here. What I did is just drag them over to the desktop. So as you can see, they're all three right here. You click on G Helper. You're going to get this Windows protected your PC. You click more info, run anyway, and then it should open off to the right hand side. If you don't see it, try clicking the arrow down here and it should be right in there and you can click it and open it up. Another thing you might wanna do is since you'll be using this a lot, it's kind of annoying to click the arrow key. So you can right click on the taskbar down here and click taskbar settings. Then you wanna scroll down a little bit. You'll see other system tray icons. Click on that to do a little drop down, and then you can find G Helper in here and actually turn this on, and now it will always show up down here. And this is going to be great when we're using the touch device to not have to click this and try to click between these icons. Now you can just touch it down here. I'm planning on keeping it down here because this is a tool I'm going to use a lot. And anyway, that wraps up this tutorial and overview of this program. I might have missed something down below. If I did, make sure to leave a comment. Just ask me and I'll get back with you and let you know if it's about Armory Crate or anything else with the program and how it works. If you did enjoy the video, consider hitting the like and sub button as it helps the channel out. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.